Excuse me, the dog. Hi, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous moonlit autumn night here outside, capping off one of the most spectacularly beautiful days here on this planet that I have seen in the year 2024. That would be Saturday, October 12th, uh, 2024, I believe. And uh, so my, my plan today was to spend the day uh, out in the garden planting uh, dozens of these beautiful perennials that I just got from my sister up in Vermont. Really looking forward to uh, getting up today, doing what I love out there, uh, hilariously planting perennials, a doomer planting perennials. The irony not lost on me, but no, the universe wasn't going to let that happen. I have spent another entire day just pissing another entire beautiful Saturday down the toilet dealing with this mother fucking truck. I am uh, I, I have lost track uh, since this since my break the warning light came on three weeks ago, I have lost track. Uh, uh, of how many trips to mechanics I have taken, uh, hours and hours and hours of my time dealing with this. I am up to hundreds of dollars now being told I could be looking at thousands of dollars uh, on this truck. I could be looking at weeks of time. I'm supposed to be out of here on the way to Florida in two weeks. I'm hearing cancel your travel plans. You could be looking at thousands of dollars putting in to a going on 12 year old truck with 200,000 miles on it. I am now considering selling my truck. Three weeks ago, I was driving down the road, uh, whistling Dixie. Uh, I think I was going up to Home Depot uh, or whatever I, I was doing, and this brake light came on. My life has devolved. I, I have now entered Dante's ninth ring of hell. I have spent more of my time, energy, and life and soon to be money uh, on this problem. It's a Toyota Tacoma. And uh, so anyway, I'm not going to sit here. You can go on that other channel and find about 500 videos. But, uh, you know, what, what this is, uh, I, I've already done the rant about how what I am going through uh, uh, over this truck. I, th this, this has become one of the single biggest auto repair nightmares of my entire life. My entire life. Uh, what I have devoted into doing this. I've already done around about the metaphor uh, of how this brake light uh, it, it is a metaphor for the collapse of global industrial civilization about the complexity that every time we fix one thing, all we do is uncover a deeper layer where you are know, getting deeper and deeper where one little thing uh, goes wrong and, and, and it spins off a uh, lot like Medusa, uh, d d d just going off like like five hundred snakes coming out of my head, just getting completely entangled with each other. Uh, mechanics throwing their hands up, dude. I don't know. I I've never seen anything like this in my life. 
I think was the uh, latest mechanic I went to today. But uh, what 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 this is just an absolute, just crystal clear example is uh, my 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 favorite quote in my uh, Gail Zawacki interview. Uh, if you have not heard my interview with the late great. Gail Zawacki here at Collapse Chronicles. If you don't know Gail, we Gail had the brains to get out of here. How long ago did we? About four and a half years ago, I think Gail checked out. But uh, you know, in, in that interview, uh, as I often did, you know, just trying to the big question everybody wants to know when this shit is coming down and she she has never been one to put a date on it uh, her comment to that question is I don't know when this shit show is coming down but I don't want to be here when it does and neither do you there is going to be nothing pretty about the collapse of global industrial civilization. What I have gone through uh, over the last three weeks over a brake light, it, 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 it has, it, it's just exploded into, it, it, it's completely consumed my entire life. You know, and, and, and uh, looking at these pictures, good God, from uh, North Carolina and, and, and stuff, the lucky people are, are the ones who are dead. Uh, good God, they are, are, are the luckiest people in North Carolina right now. Uh, the ones that are 10 feet under a, 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 a fucking landslide, not, not facing... Uh, what these other people, and, and, and you know, I'm looking at all this and, and figuring I'm supposed to be somehow grateful, but because there's someone, uh, you know, with with a real problem in their life, uh, that that I should be grateful. Uh, the biggest problem in my life is is, is this fucking uh, brake light from hell, uh, but but but. Uh, the lesson out here is, is it rings true what uh, what, what Gail Zawacki said. Uh, you know, so I got to know Gail after that after that interview, and uh, so I actually went to visit Gail Zawacki on the in Maine. What what Gail did for a living, which she did not want me mentioning. Uh, it, in the interview, what she was doing with her life, I don't know how many years, uh, how many, at the end of her life, how old was Gail when she died? A couple of years older than me, I think in her mid, late 60s. She was managing an Airbnb vacation rental uh, on the coast of Maine. She did not, Gail, she didn't own the Airbnb. What it was was like a three-story mansion, probably easily a multi-million dollar mansion. And she had worked out some deal with the owner that she would manage the Airbnb, you know, take care of all the guests and do all, all of this stuff that I do uh, here for uh, a room in the, in, in, in the mansion, basically. And uh, so I went to visit Gail. When would that have been? I think it was late summer of 2018. I'm pretty sure. I know Sancho is along because she ob she obviously loves Sancho Panza. And uh, I I, <laughs> I remember being there in that mansion. Uh, on the coast of Maine with this Doomer chick, uh, Gail's a wacky, 
and 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 Gail like I mean she you know she liked comfort okay make no mistake about it Gail Zawacki was not living in a seven foot by seven foot converted tool shed okay she was living in a multi-million dollar mansion uh, she was a fan of fine wine she she had the uh, the wine rack and uh, and she was a gourmet cook and uh, she and, and she invited this other couple this doomer couple she made us a delicious gourmet meal with the finest ingredients an expensive bottle of wine uh, and all of this she, she Gelsawacki had no problem uh, enjoying it while she still could. She was uh, the biggest fan of global industrial civilization this side of me. I absolutely love global industrial civilization. I don't know, I, I, I think there's still people who are suffering some delusion that I talk trash about global industrial civilization. I am a modern human. I am 100%, as was Gail Zawacki, as was every single doomer listening to this rant, every one of, uh, every one of us are absolutely slaves to global industrial civilization. And uh, if there's any confusion that I have a problem with global industrial, the, my problem with global industrial civilization is that it is destroying a planet. It is destroying a planet and obliterating every one of our fellow earthlings off the face of the planet. It was the same problem that Gail Zawacki had with global industrial civilization. It was an intellectual problem, but because she understood, as I do, and, and any doomer with a brain, that global industrial civilization is not going to stop until it has pretty much destroyed this planet, uh, that, that does not mean uh, that she was going to check out. So I remember, so I, I get up the next day, after my, we have this gourmet meal and this delicious wine and stuff, so I'm, I'm there the next morning and she's asking, <laughs> and, and Gail's a wacky. Uh, is asking me, you know, basically what I know about home repairs. And I said, well, I said, I know enough to, uh, to anywhere, anytime I move to a new town is to find all of the good repairmen and, and, and buddy up with them. So her I said, what's going on? And, uh, and, and, and we go into one of these in, you know, one of the vacation rental units, and the kitchen cabinet, the the kitchen cabinet had something going on with the uh, with the trim around the cabinet. That this that this piece that it, it wasn't affecting the opening and closing of the of the cabinet door. You follow me? The the, the cabinet itself was perfectly fine, but it was something about a, a loose piece of trim on this cabinet in, 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 in this Airbnb unit. I'm just glad when, when I don't have 25 rodents gnawing through the, I, I can imagine Gail Zawacki dealing with a mouse invasion in her Airbnb. And, and, and she was completely beside herself over this little piece of trim on her cabinet. And, and, and I'm going, Gail, 
uh, I, 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 I'm saying, darling, uh, it's not the end of the fucking world. It, it's a it's a piece of trim on the cabinet. I, I admit it doesn't look perfect. Uh, I, I said I really don't think the guests at this Airbnb are are going to uh, to to have a problem with this piece of trim on the cabinet and, and give you a bad review and get you in trouble, uh, you, you know, with the folks who own this house. And she was absolutely just it. It, it, it the, 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 this piece of cabinet, tr this piece of cabinet trim. And I said, Gail, I said, can we find some fucking Elmer's glue? She goes, Elmer's glue? I said, Elmer's glue. Elmer's glue. Just, just any type of fucking glue. Okay? I, 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 said, you don't have, I said, you don't have a single... I, I said, we need some little, uh, you know, some little trim screws. I said, this is what we need is about three little trim screws, uh, but but it would have taken the entire day. And, and I said, just get me some fucking glue. And uh, so I got her uh, her cabinet door trim. No, but, but just to, <laughs> you, you know, I, I just remember that this whole thing with, with, with Gail Zawacki. How she had let this, uh, <laughs> this piece of cabinet door trim, just, 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 just I, I know how she felt. And, uh, and, and, and she fully admitted, uh, Gail Zawacki, uh, that, that woman was the first to admit she wanted nothing to do, nothing to do with the collapse of global industrial civilization. Uh, <laughs> there, there, there is no way that, uh, that Gail would Gail Zawacki, she would have spent one or two nights at Bugs in a Jar Farm, maybe two nights uh, that she would have spent here at Bugs in a Jar Farm before, you know, talking about some dust on the knife holder or some mouse chewing in the wall. And she would have gone, hasta luego, Sam. The last I heard from Gail, I was, it was right before Christmas in 2020. I was living down in Florida at my uh, at my vacation rental place down there, and uh, so Gail called me, and she was up in Maine, and he, he, you know she she said uh, she said Sam I'm uh, I'm going stir crazy up here, I need to take a get a, a few weeks of sunshine, and she said our, our, do you have this place up and running and Florida, do you mind if I come stay with you? Uh, this was right before Christmas of 2020, and I said absolutely, Gail. Uh, and, and I and I, I I think I said something about you know don't complain about the loose cabinet trim or made some joke. I said it's not quite the level of accommodation you're used to. She said no problem. Uh, and so she was, I think she, she was planning to come down in like February. And a few weeks later, uh, I get an email from her. She, she just said, Sam, I'm letting you know that, I'm, that, that I, I'm getting these really bad headaches. And this is not looking good or something. I still have the email from Gail, and uh, that was the last word I heard from Gail Zawacki, and then I heard a few weeks later, it was actually, I think, from uh, from the late great uh, Michael Dowd, it was Michael, 
who told me about, uh, who called me to let me know that Gail had died. And uh, <laughs> Gail Zawacki would not let Michael down. Uh, I, I shouldn't be saying this, uh, speaking ill of the dead. Uh, Gail Zawacki would not let Michael Dow to interview her. She was, uh, when, when Michael, when Michael wanted to interview me, uh, her advice to me was run for the hills. <laughs> run for the hills is what her, her, her advice, uh, about, uh, talking to Michael Dowd. I have no idea what the, uh, Mike, Michael felt really bad uh, about that. Uh, he, he was really hurt by the fact that Gail Zawacki uh, wanted nothing to do with him. I have no idea why that woman agreed to uh, be interviewed by me. Uh, she went, but, but I will say when I was up in, uh, you know, up in Maine staying with her, and I wanted to do a follow-up interview, and, and, and she absolutely refused. She would not let me interview her again. I don't think, I, I, I think what it was, she did not want people to know that she was living in this, <laughs> in this beautiful mansion uh, on, the, on the coast of Maine, uh, enjoying it while she still could. But uh, anyway, uh, th th this whole thing, I, I, I mean, if this is what a, uh, if this, I mean, I don't think, I cannot communicate what I am going through over this, over this issue with my truck. It is, it is literally consuming my brain is driving me to drink even more. I, I probably spend two to three hours tossing and turning, unable to sleep. Uh, my, my truck is now broken down in my driveway. I have direct orders from the latest mechanic, do not drive that truck. I'm stuck out here in the middle of fucking nowhere uh, w w with no way. I, I, I'm just, the, the only place I can take the truck is to my mechanics and back and forth till uh, he figures this out. And he's already let me know that you very well could be looking at a, at a new axle and uh, rear end of this truck, and you could be looking at thousands of dollars. But he's going to give it one more college try, and, and to uh, get get this thing uh, patched back up and get this light off and send me down the road. But uh, the 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 collapse of global industrial civilization, guys. There, there is, is, is going to be nothing fun about it. It is going to suck. It, it is going to, it, it, it is going to be the most horrific thing that uh, has ever happened in your life. As I say, Gail Zawacki got out uh, just in time. I think that I'm going to get out in time, but uh, for, for anybody, you know, I'm 65, uh, you, you know, I think of anybody, uh, I mean, under 50, sure as shit, under the age of 40. If you're under the age of 40, you're fucked. You're completely fucked. You understand this. And if you're under the age of 40 and, and you have brought a child onto this planet, 
uh, you you have committed your own child to the most horrific life and death. Uh, it, it's just uh, you're you're fucked. Uh, your your kid is fucked. You have nobody except yourself to blame for how fucked your kid is. You knew goddamn well how fucked we are. What do you think, little dog? Are you going to make it out of here? Gee, and here's another tick on my dog. <laughs> I've pulled more ticks off of this dog in, 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 since this brake light went out than, than I have in the previous year. Anyway, uh, I have to go refresh my drink. And I'm going to go enjoy Netflix with its new ads while I still can. And all joking aside, guys, get out there and enjoy it while you still can. Because when, 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 when this shit goes bye-bye, bye-bye, you're going to wish you had never been fucking born. Yes. All right, I gotta go freshen my drink. Bye, guys.